960 light bulbs. This translates to $25,000 in lighting savings for our customers and saving the environment from 1.4 million pounds of carbon dioxide from being released into the air. Now, as I understand it, a few of our company members have a few words before we close. Allie Kleinman, our VP of Sales. Initially intimidated, I've come to realize that you are in control of your own FME experience. If you want to, then there's so much that can be gained from it. FME does not only teach you about running a business, but requires you to grow as a person. Next, a valued marketing member of our company, Ariam Karakwala. I expected it to be easier in terms of planning and implementing. Selling the product was a huge challenge, as well as communicating efficiently within the company. It was a very difficult process in which I learned a lot about working together with a large group of people with a common goal. As the company progressed, we got a lot better at understanding teamwork. Thank you. And lastly, one of our top sellers, Michelle Lee. Through Yoko, I realized that most of the knowledge and skills necessary in the business world are hands-on experiences. I didn't realize how time-consuming the FME business would be, but I learned that collaboration and communication are definitely Overall, we learned that FME isn't exactly what we expected. First semester, we expected to learn of the technical aspect of running a business, the different departments, how they work together, how to make uh, financial documents, and things like that. However, equally important is the people aspect, the non-technical aspect of FME. How long your meetings are, how you deal with problems, and how you communicate are very important. And these subtleties of business cannot be told in a best-selling novel, or rather, in real life. As they prepare to leave for summer vacation, Harry, Ron, and Hermione board the Hogwarts Express. As they head home, they reflect on their experiences working for Eelco. <laughs>
newspapers and things like that are talking about light bulbs three or more years ago. It used to be a lot bigger and proud where you have to leave the room for 15 minutes and things like that. Um, now they still suggest that you take uh, your light bulbs to a Home Depot or a place where they have the disposal facilities for you, but the actual danger of the light bulbs is significantly lower. Um, so they address that they problem? They address that problem. Right? And CFL light bulbs, believe it or not, have been around since the 80s. Um, they're, the technology right now is affordable and even usable, but it's been around for a very long time. So, fun fact. Mm -hmm. no, that good is question. A, uh, but that, that is, uh, that's good. I think that information needs to get out to the public more because right. I actually have had um, those light like, bulbs in my basement since my oldest son, he's now 30, was in high school. So they have been around a long time. Yeah. I haven't had to dispose of it yet, so I have probably one of the dangerous ones in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> but it's good to know that that's not such a problem. Right. Thank you. Good job. Did you manage to sell out your inventory completely? Yes, we did.